Okay. Before we open up more of the heart, first of all, I'd like. <laughs> Uh, Gentlemen, <laughs> before you shout anything out, remember you are being recorded. Okay. Uh, before I show you some of the parts I've opened, I'd like to show you the the outside of the heart. The outside of the heart is basically a sort of a, a triangular. There's a little bit of blood dripping out of it here, not much. Uh, sort of like the sort of heart shaped. It's uh, it's pointed at the bottom and wide at the top. At the top here, you can see these blood vessels. Ah, awesome. This would be the pulmonary artery here. This would be part of the aorta. There would also have been veins that came into this area, but, but, but when the heart was removed from the deer, some of the veins were cut through, so you don't see as many of the veins left as would have been there before. Uh, I've already... Now, the other stuff... Does anybody know what this white stuff here is around? Fat. The, that's fat deposits, that's right. That's <laughs> fatty material around the edge of the heart. The, the, the fat produced... Fat serves two purposes for the heart. What are the two purposes, do you think? It's protection. It cushions the heart. So the fat helps cushion the heart, and it insulates. It keeps the heart nice and warm. So that's a couple of things that the, the insulation does. Who killed this thing? This was shot by a student in one of my other, in my other class. What's his name? Uh, Stephen. Stephen. Now, McKinnon? Yeah. Now, I've already opened up one of the heart chambers of this heart. At the, this is the, this is the, this is the vent. This is one of the ventricles. This was what we would refer to as. Yeah, sorry, and I also should show it to the, the camera as well. Yes. You. Yes. Yes. I will allow pictures in a moment. Uh, I'll, uh, in a minute or two, I'll let people take bring out cameras and take pictures, but not constantly. Okay. I'd like you to see how thick the walls here are. That is so thick. That's all muscle, eh? Really? That's, That's all muscle. Muscle to, because of course, it's, when the heart beats, it's got to squeeze really so tight. It's super strong. Yeah, it is. It's, like it's always working. It is, very much so. Now, I'm going to slice down at the bottom here a little bit. Just slice a little piece off. Now, can I cut it? Can I cut something? What does it look like? Looks like it looks bean. like ham. Looks or like not ham, but um, beef. Sir, looks compare? like beef. Looks like a piece of steak or something, right? Sir, no, it looks like liver. Sir, can we cook it? Michelle looks like a liver. Now, can I cut Actually, in many places, people do cook and eat heart. Yes. Yeah. So people just so you don't so you just eat the muscle like it's like it's yeah the muscular part any any muscle is is basically meat. Now so how do we cook this? Do we saute it? <laughs> or do we just put this thing on the barbecue? Uh, most people most people would would uh, marinate and sa and then saute it. Yes, uh, but you could prepare it any any of several ways. Uh, I don't particularly care for heart meat because it's like liver. It's it's denser. In regular meat and a little bit gamier flavored, <coughs> so I don't I don't care a lot, lot for heart, but you can eat heart. It's it's edible. So you like more like ribs and stuff. Yeah. Just, yeah. Uh, now, so there you can see the cross section there where I cut off the bottom okay, so and the very bottom of one of the heart chambers there. Sorry, there you go. You see the bo very bottom of one of the ventricles. So that's the the bottom of the ventricles. Now, in here. Right there is where a valve originally was. The valve, right about there. What is that? You see, these are connective tissues. Connective tissues are things like tendons and so ligaments. So there be like blood, like a huge pocket of blood where you're holding. When when the heart was functioning, this whole area would have been filled up with blood. Wow. This would have been a, this whole chamber and then here. How where how would it transfer into the other one? The well, it would valve. squeeze. It would squeeze there, and it would squirt it out through. This opening here, I'll show you where my finger goes, and you can oh see, you can see it would come out through there, and that would lead on to the lungs. 
Yeah, but so then that how opening we get into the different right. chambers, there's like yep. the upper chambers have been partially cut through. Okay, there is the upper chamber of a heart, right there. And then how does it squeeze into the other one? Then this part, this part here would squeeze a little bit and push it down into the bottom. Is there like a hole? Yeah. Yes, a little valve that push, lets it go down into the bottom part, and then the bottom part squeezes to push it around the body. Okay, one other thing I want to show you here. Do you see this line here? Yeah. That is actually an artery going from the heart to the heart. Oh, this is because her heart is inside inside? So it's what brings blood down to this bar bottom part of the heart, this part that I cut off before, was this artery here. So this is an artery that runs to the heart. If you were, if anything were to plug up, if anything were to plug up that artery there, if something plugged up that artery, it would kill the bottom part of your heart. It would damage the bottom part of your heart. And that's what we call a heart attack. A heart attack is when the blood supply to the bottom part of the heart is cut off. Does everybody have a line? Yes, everybody, all hearts would have a blood vessel. Yeah, our, our, our heart is about half the size. Our heart's about the size of a little bigger than your fist. <laughs> a deer, a deer is much larger than a human, so a deer has a larger has a heart. Life, yeah. right? Well, a human actually lives a lot longer than a deer. No, it's not they right. have a bigger heart. Then which one is it that lives longer? Like, what, uh, what deers have bigger hearts than humans. Well, the longest living mammal, the longest living mammal, is known as a human. So does the turtle although, although there is some evidence that whales may live as long as we do. Sorry. But Actually, the longest proven living animal, mammal, is a human. Sorry? Yes. Why is it that when you get a heart attack you get like a pain in your arm? Like how does that? Uh, that's the body response to the body's response like to whales. change in blood flow. It are whales. Okay, what you can do? Turtles. Let's say let's say somebody is about to have a heart attack or has yeah. had had evidence of having a heart attack. We can now put a little scope through and look into that vein there, into that artery there. And Cut it open! Cut it open! Oh boy! Oh boy! Okay. Oh yeah, boy! Let me do it, sir! Let me First of all, I'm going to cut across ways here, so you can see the end of it. Cut that open! Yeah! Awesome! Now, oh my God, I just saw the open. here, you can see the vein, that's uh, where the artery. Oh, here! And I'm going to cut through the artery oh, right now. And in here, you can see it's a little. I can't see, sir. In here. Turn it around. In here oh is, the pa is the artery's pathway. Artery leads down that way. Now, is it difficult to cut, sir? Yeah, it's a little, there you can see. You can see this. Now, yeah, if you, yeah. I've got to let people stop and take a picture now if you want to. Sir, can you send me the video? You'll have to ask Mr. McKechnie. It's his movie. It's his video camera. Oh yeah, right there. That is one big heart. They must be really kind. Hey, Haley, stay on the line. Camera's retarded. Is really up close? My so does my mouth. Get real close. I think it's awesome. Oh, so gross. It changed because it's small. When it was alive, it would have been a little bit redder, a little bit brighter, but it's pretty close to its natural color. It would have been slightly brighter red when it was alive. There would still be a, it would still be fairly, it would not be quite as blue as this. It would be a little bit more red, because that's because the blood would be a little bit more, uh, a little bit more, a little fresher in, in a live heart and in a live acting heart. Okay, now I'm about to gonna cut, do the final thing here. I'm going to cut open cut the other. Up. I'm going to cut open up. the other side here. Oh, you hear it. This is the larger ventricle. This is the one that pumps the blood all around the body. And look, you thought the last one had thick walls? Wow. Oh look God. at how let thick. See, let me see. Let me see. Look at how thick. <gasps> Oh my God. Look at how thick the muscles are on this side of the heart. This is the strong side of the heart. And look there. Look at the. You can see part of the structure of the valve there. You see that that stuff there? That's part of the structure around. See that stuff there? Oh my God. What's the What's the sticky stuff? What's that? The lines. That's connective tissue, but it forms part of the valve that separates the two parts of the heart. 
And look at the Where's thickness the of that muscle. Sir, can I cut something? <laughs> Ew, guys. Sir, can I try, please? Look inside. I really cut it. Ew. That must be very difficult. Well, no, I don't have enough gloves to let people, everybody do this, well, unfortunately. No one, does anyone else want to? Look at that. Look at the structures inside of that. No one else wants to do it, sir. Look at the beautiful structures inside of that. Beautiful. That's amazing. How is there still power? I think I want to be a doctor. The blood's been drained out. Most of the blood's been drained out. Yeah, but how's it like still stuck? Well, a little bit stays inside. Sir, I think you should just let Mary Jo cut up a piece of that. Come on, sir. Come on. I want to cut a piece. Oh, please, Mary Jo. I've only got the one glove and it's already kind of dirty. I'll do it. I'll do it. Let me, sir. Let me, sir. Let me, sir. Oh, Mary Jo, you're gross. Try to keep it. Trying to put the... <laughs> it sticks like shit. <laughs> okay, Mary Jo.